So, you know, what are your thoughts and, and perspective around, you know, th that paradox of years of experience for an entry level job it, it, that just doesn't feel like it maps? I can kind of take that. So um, I think really where that comes from, um, and there's a couple of things at play here. First is that often there's a disconnect between the hiring managers in security and um, the HR or recruitment teams. Um, so you'll see job descriptions put together by somebody in HR who doesn't necessarily understand the security world or the certifications or the experience requirements, things like that. And then I've also heard from plenty of hiring managers out there that security isn't necessarily an entry level profession. Um, a lot of folks see it as a more advanced profession under the larger umbrella of IT. So when hiring managers say that they're looking for a few years of experience for an entry level job, Basically, they're saying, though it's entry level for security, it's not entry level as a whole, uh, as a role in general. So um, in a lot of cases, then folks are looking for people that have had a couple of years of IT experience and then parlayed that into a into a, a career in security later on. Yeah, I would agree. On, on the flip side, I think the narrative that's being told to a lot of applicants um, is, is it's a different narrative from different directions. I talk to a lot of of college graduates that haven't had their first job yet. And they're saying out loud, I'm worth $80,000. And, um, you know, they, they believe that that might be a case that they can actually have. And some people might be getting hired right out of school. Definitely some people are qualified. Um, but what you're looking at is mixed messaging. And you're right, Pete, I think the, the messaging and the disconnect between hiring managers and HR there are companies where a hiring manager can walk down the hallway with his candidate he wants to hire. He knows he's very qualified or she's very qualified, but that candidate fails some sort of requirement through the application process and HR automatically rules them out. And this manager legally can't even hire the person. So it, it's company specific, I think. I think it's location and geography specific. Um, you know, different cities have different personalities and companies have different personalities for what they uh, would consider entry level um, and really how how advanced and mature is your program and and how seriously do you take security from the top down? That's really what I would see. It's there's just inconsistency kind of landmines, I think, all over the country in, in different ways. And there's really no one answer. Um, I think it, it, it applies to specific companies that we would talk about. Really.